Okay, so you refuel the stretch. Mm -hmm. Phase one of our sequence, you're deep breathing, four seconds in, eight seconds out. Trying to deepen the stretch if you can. The way that you would do this is you would either sink your butt back closer to your heel. If we were really biasing quad, right? If we were biasing hip, you could flex your left knee a little bit as if you're going into like almost a Bulgarian, but you wouldn't have to go very far. Great. Phase two, you're gonna try and come out of the stretch. You're gonna to start to build pressure of your forefoot into the back of the chair. So you're trying to push as much force as you can into the back of the chair, gradually ramping that up. Keep doing that, yes, great. To your safest, greatest contraction. Good, muscle shaking and quivering is all normal. Great. Phase three, after your 30 seconds, if you were gonna expedite time, you're gonna try and lift. No, no, knee stays down, because we're biasing quad. You're gonna try and lift your forefoot off the chair, trying to bring your heel to your butt. Wow, yes, that's it. Good, feel that posterior tissue all contract, good tension in the front. Keep loading, keep doing it, keep go up, keep it up, keep it up, keep it up, keep winning as long as you can. And then phase four, you'd sink back deeper into the stretch. So bring your, no, no, bring your heel to your, keep your heel down or your forefoot down, and then bring your buttock to your heel. Boom. Nice.